and go back to sleep. What do you want to do? Wake up the whole house? What do you got, Willie? What do you Beer? A couple of years ago, when the river overflowed, I caught a whole case of bourbon floating by. I didn't see none of it. Not even a cork, you stingy old nincompoop. Oh, give me a can of beer. I won't give you nothing. Just a measly can. I ain't gonna give you nothing. This ain't good enough for you. You go get yourself a case of bourbon and hide it good. Oh, you know I had to hide it. Mrs. Mitchell doesn't approve of drinking on the premises. Oh, she doesn't, huh? Well, listen, if we want a can of beer, who's gonna stop us? Besides, Mrs. Mitchell and me is just like, uh, just, just like that. Yes, sir. And anything I want to do, I do. Now, for instance, if I wanted to get myself a cold piece of chicken out of the refrigerator, the, 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 did you, did you press, uh, the ice box, I take it. Whenever I want to do something, it's okay. You know, you know she knows that I'm not seeing well around here. I'll move just like that. Ah, uh, give her that. You want to know how to pull carts out of bourbon bottles. This is a man-sized job. And you want to know something? I can twist the old girl around my little bits of finger. You want to know how? How? Flatter her. Tell her she's beautiful. Can't you use flattery without being a big liar? Look, bud, when you tell a woman that's over 40 that she's beautiful, you ain't a liar. You're a philanthropist. I know how to handle women. Nothing to it. Don't interrupt. Women are women. Mrs. Mitchell? Yes, Mrs. Mitchell, too. I boarded here so long, but I practically own the place. All right, go ahead. Have a can. I think I've had enough already. Ahem. <clears throat> Did you get that way falling into the river? Uh, no, Miss Mitchell. Well, we just had one each, and uh, uh, we got a lot left over. Try one. What? Oh, oh we really worked hard, uh, uh, Miss Mitchell. That The river's up two feet more than it was. Gosh, it's awful. Oh, it's really terrible. It's kind of like a nightmare. <laughs> All right, Willie. Go to bed. Everybody. Mike, he isn't on the sofa. His clothes are gone, too. Oh, you're getting himself drowned. I just know it. You came so drowned. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Dunlap, to waken you, but Ruth's boy's gone off. This goes on all the time. Oh, yes, Mr. Dunlap, help me find him. I just know he'll be drowned if we don't find him. Yes, I'll help you find him. He must have gone to the river. I'll go with you. No, no, you better stay here. I'll bring him back. But you've never seen him, Mr. Dunlap. Well, there's not many boys out this time of night. He's a tall boy, freckled, spaces between his front teeth, but he's handsome except for that. I'll find him. If he drowned himself, it'll be my fault. Won't you need a coat?
Et voici. like someone. Yeah, I'm going down the river. Want to come with me? Well... Come on. We're going to watch it together. You may not get another chance to see the river overflowing. It's pretty exciting. Well... Come on. Okay. Hey, you're walking too fast. Wait for me. Out of me. I found him. He was starting for home anyway. Oh, Lucky! What did he hit me for? I just went for a walk. Just a walk. You'll have a hard time walking or sitting before I get through with you. Thank you for finding him, Mr. Dunlap. This is my son. Well, come on. Luckily, Mr. Dunlap found him before he fell in the river. Two minutes more and he'd been through the park. That boy always disappearing. Where's he now? Where were you? I got undressed in the bathroom like you told me. Oh. Come on, Mike, get to bed. We're ready. One little misstep and you'd fall out the window. What's the matter with you? Tired of living? What's this? Popcorn in a noiseless bag, so I won't keep him awake. Oh. Get to bed. His father used to eat crackers. Good night. Good night. And don't get out of bed until morning. You'll keep an eye on him, won't you? He'll be all right. How can you keep an eye on me if you're asleep? No, listen. Come on, Ruth. Good night. Good night. 